Yeah, hey, it's me again. This video is going to be on music subscription and, well, internet radio with Slacker Radio and Pandora. First of all, let's talk about the three music subscription options that we have on Android. I don't know if there's more, but these are the three main ones. MOG, uh, you can get a free trial with them for three days. Radio, this one's currently only invite only, so if you know somebody that has a radio, or even check the, the, the reviews on radio, some people put their um, email addresses so you can request invites from there. And then Rhapsody. Rhapsody's been a while. Actually, it's been out the longest. These two just came out. Okay, first of all, let's talk about my least favorite, Rhapsody. Okay. Let's go in here. Let's play a song. Oh, I currently don't have a subscription with uh, Rhapsody. So it's only going to play 30 second tracks. Okay, just so you guys know. Okay. First of all, the pros about um, uh, Rhapsody. Huge music selection, great quality, like audio quality, and I love the way how you can build a uh, playlist with ease, okay? The bad thing about, well, and then another thing is that you can also, um, it saves all your music on the cloud, so, um, well, your music collection, so if you ever were to log off and log back in, it, it keeps track of which albums you liked and all that music and all that jazz. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, they, of course, these all three of these music subscriptions also offer um, websites that you can go to and listen music to. So that's also cool. Um, the things I don't like about Rhapsody is there's no offline mode, which means you have to stream all your music on the fly or like streaming. So if I want to play a song, it's gonna download it while I play it. It's not gonna download it prior. Um, I can't download a whole album and then listen to it in a spot where there's bad 3G. I can't do that. There's no offline, which is really sucks. I had the search for about three months, and I was waiting for offline mode. Because it didn't deliver, I went somewhere else. So, great selection, great quality, but without offline mode. Um, especially where I go running at, I just can't. Like, um, it, They have poor 3G service where I run at, so I can't listen to Slacker Radio, and I can't listen to Pandora. And I can't listen to Rhapsody. So, that's going to be an... For me, at least, a Rhapsody is not, it's just not for me. Okay, my second favorite one, MOG. Uh, Rhapsody has about, I think, 9 million tracks. So does this one. Uh, MOG also has 9 million tracks. The, the one thing I don't like about um, MOG is you can't log onto the website and onto the phone application at the same time. If you do one or the other, it's going to log you off. So it's just it's stupid. As far as that, because sometimes what I would like to do is, uh, especially with my favorite app, uh, radio, which I'll talk about in a bit, you can go on the website, say I want this album, this album, this album, and it's going to download directly on your phone. So a feature like that is much needed in uh, MOG. One thing you do have to realize for MOG is if you go to My Downloads, Download Settings, you have to check high quality downloads. If you don't check that, it'll download it at 64 kilobytes a second. When you do check it, it downloads them at uh, 320. So there's a huge difference there. Um, let's play this album, uh, a couple songs. Uh, if you're wondering why I only have one album on this subscription, I'm actually paying for this, so you'll actually hear the full tracks. Um, the reason I only have one album is I just actually installed Froyo the Froyo leak um, on this phone. So the problem with this service, which is kind of annoying, is if you ever do a factory reset, if you ever change ROMs, even though you download your files um, offline and it downloads it to your SD card in a folder called MOG, even though your offline files are in that folder, and even if you reset your phone, add a new ROM, download this app, and then re-log in with your account, even if you do all that, you have to re-download all your music which is really annoying. It doesn't even give you a list of all the albums you downloaded, so you can just re-download them, just like go one by one. Because in order for you to download this, um, let's go to Hot Releases. All you have to do is hit this little um, the arrow down, and you can download the, the album. It, that, that's real cool, but I mean, it doesn't even keep track of the albums I had downloaded before. I did the factory reset, or before I did the... ROM change or anything, so that's really annoying that I have to re-download uh, re my music every single time. But, like I guess, uh, 
great music selection. Uh, one thing that's really annoying is when you're playing audio or when you're not playing audio, as long as a player is running in the background, if you ever get a call, it doesn't mute your sound. And I've actually ha it's actually happened once where, um, see how it's, um, well, it's currently, all right, let me go back. What? Oh, if I had play, if I had pause and I was to get a call right now, it would actually turn the music on while I'm getting the call. So, and also, if the music's playing, it, it'll turn it off when I get a call. But when if the music's off, paused, well, not off, well, as long as the application's running and it's paused, if I get a call, it actually turns on the music while I'm in the call. So, let's go back over here. Okay, um... Like I said, it's, it's a good service. Now, radio. This is actually where I have, this is the one I use the most. This one's invite only. Um, if you get an invite, it's a three-day trial. Let's go to menu, settings. They offer this option that gives you offline use. So as soon as you click that, it actually, um, any songs that aren't on your SD card, it won't play them. Like, let me hit use offline real quick. See all these songs right here? See how this little dot appears? That means all this music I have on here, it's all stored on the actual phone itself. So, um, it's all going to play locally. Because the way you can do it is you can set it up two different ways. You can set it up so, here, I'll, I'll actually show you what I mean. And you can do the same thing on MOG. Um, let's say, I'm trying to figure, oh, like this Bone Thugs album. Okay. This very first album right here. See how on the side it's all grayed out? That means that all these songs are, um, if I was to click on it, it'll stream it. Only the one that has a little orange one, the little orange with like a little phone on it, that, those are the ones that are actually stored on the actual um, uh, SD card, on the micro SD card. So if I click on this one down here, it takes a while for it to load just because I have to stream it. But if I click on the first one, it should play it a lot faster just because they're stored locally. Keep in mind, I'm also on Wi-Fi, that's why I played that fast, but normally it wouldn't play that fast. See all these songs? The, all these songs are stored locally. Um, if you go to Menu, Settings, uh, you can also check right here for high quality streams. This is just streaming part, this isn't the actual download. The downloads, I don't know what, what, um, what the quality on the downloads are, but it seems really good. Uh, this is the only thing I don't like about this application is that um, it, for some reason I can't make a playlist on the phone itself. Like, if I make a playlist on the website, it'll bring it down, but if I want to make a playlist on the phone, you can't. You have to log into radio.com, the website, on a computer, and then drag. And because it's all flash-based, you can't do it on the phone. Well, I mean, I guess I can do it on this one, on the Froyo, because it has a flash built in. But... Normally, you would have to do it on the computer, drag all your songs to a playlist, create the playlist, and then once you do, it'll be it'll sync it down here so you can click on it. But if it's not synced, I mean, if, if you don't want to go online, then you pretty much have no choice. Um, also, the dashboard, I'm not going to click on that because it's going to show everybody that I'm following. But um, if you have friends that have also radio, you can add them on there, and any music that they choose will show up on there as, like, uh, hot trends and stuff from your friends. So if you have friends that listen to rap, then uh, a majority of that music is going to be rap. Friends that listen to hip-hop, a majority of that music is going to be hip-hop. One thing that was really annoying, which when I first thought about this, I was like, well, that sucks because what if you don't like alternative rock? But like that that's what the majority of people like. Well, this one it only follows your friends, so it's actually pretty cool. Actually, it doesn't give you any of that data, so... Hello. Yeah, I guess it doesn't tell you who's actually doing it, so that's cool. So, see, this right here, this is what, like, friends are listening to right now. So you only, so you only get, uh, you know, music from people that you care about. Uh, Slacker Radio versus, uh, Pandora. I'm not really gonna go on this, except I just love Slacker Radio. Because on Slacker Radio, you can select, uh, music stations with, um, with genres instead of just uh, typing people's names. I like that a lot better. Um, okay, well, that concludes my video. Uh, have a great day. Bye.